I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. Hello, my darlings. I have mice in my van. I'm not excited, not excited. I noticed day before yesterday, I tried to find some uh, mouse traps and I couldn't, but I found some today. Um, sorry for my voice, I'm getting over bronchitis. Um, so I heard them in my cab and I saw one scurry in the dark. I couldn't really get a good look at him, but I saw him scurry from the cab over to the side door. And then last night, y'all, this was insane. <laughs> I was in my bed. Well, I should have gotten in my bed to show you. I was in my bed and I heard the little fucker in my cab. So I sat up and turned on the light to look for him. Not that I could really do anything, but it was just so freaky hearing the mice in your van. And so I sat up and turned on the light and y'all right here, this little brown mouse was sitting there just staring at me. Like, what you doing? I was like, you little shit. At least have the respect to run and hide. So look what I got. <laughs> I was gonna put it out, but I wanted to show y'all first. I accidentally bought two of the, the bait stuff. I spent 35 bucks on this stuff. But y'all, it's, it's not good to have mice in your van. They can chew up the wires and cause all kind of damage. So I've got, well, my food's always put away, but I put my garbage in a bucket with a lid on it last night. So at least they wouldn't find anything to eat. Got my little plant up. I think I mentioned this before. A lady at a rest area gave me this little plant. I've got a basil and a peppermint and I'm pretty sure that's Cuban oregano. She told me it was Spanish oregano, but I looked it up and I think that's what it is. I know the basil's growing because it won't hardly fit in my little shelf anymore where I keep it when I'm driving. But look how pretty this is, y'all. Yeah, I'm kind of near a road, but I'm near town, which is convenient. It's tomorrow I gotta go to this, get back to the mechanic get my oil changed and my brake pads changed. And what do y'all think? You think this baby needs a bath? You think she needs a bath? Oh my goodness, poor baby. Mommy's not taking care of you. Look at that, oh my goodness. Look how dirty this baby is. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. So let's talk about what I got. Here I've got traps. I've used not this exact trap before, but um, something like it. I've also used those regular little wooden mouse traps, but they don't seem to catch as many mice as these big plastic ones do. I'm not sure if the bait's harder to get or it's just a harder snap. I'm not sure which. Also, if you've never set a mouse trap, one of the regular ones, it's really easy to catch your own finger so they can be kind of dangerous. And they will fly when they're, um, uh, shoot, what do you call it? When they're hit. So you wanna be really careful when you're handling a mouse trap. But these are really good, I recommend them. I forgot how to use this one. I don't know how to let it back down without hitting my finger. I'll read, the, I'll read the instructions. So there's three of those in that pack. I think I'm putting all of them out. And then I've got glue traps. Glue traps can be very effective, but y'all, you're going to have to be not too squeamish because you're gonna have to be kind to the mouse after he's caught and kill it. Because it they don't kill the mouse, all they do is catch it. So what you've got, if you catch a mouse, is a mouse stuck to glue, a live mouse. And you don't 
you don't want to be cruel and just leave the little fucker to just like die of thirst. This is horrible, but what I used to do when I had it in, in my house, because I had a big uh, problem with my rest in my house. God, it was just vile. Um, and I, the glue traps are what I ended up using mostly. And um, get your hammer out and just hit him with a hammer right in the head. Uh, if you don't want to get that close, a baseball bat, but just hit him really hard right in the head. I know that sounds horrible, but believe me, it's kinder than just leaving him to die on the glue trap. I've also got these bait stations. I haven't had a lot of luck with, with poison with my sun rats, but gosh, y'all, I got to get rid of these little guys. So I just bought like one of everything they had in the store. So I'm going to set these out and I'll show you how I do that and where I do that. Okay. I just read the instructions, which I should have done before I tried it myself. So in this mouse trap, this is where you put the food and I use, uh, I get raw oats like oatmeal and then I mix it up with peanut butter and then put it in a little ball and put it in there. And then you set the trap. Don't set the trap before you try to put the food in or you do what I just did off camera, which was catch it on my own finger. And by the way, it did not, I mean, it, it wasn't fun, but it didn't hurt my finger. You know, it didn't break my finger or anything. And those, the wooden traps, they will really cause damage to your finger. So maybe that's another good reason to use these. Now, what will happen sometimes is the mouse will get the food, but it won't set off the trap. So then what you have is a trap with no food and no mouse. So what you have to do is get that back down so you can clean out that little compartment and reset it. So I've got just a knife right here. And all I did was I put a little pressure up on the cover of the food compartment. Here's my traps with the peanut butter oatmeal mixture. Probably should have used more peanut butter than I did, but it'll probably be fun. So I'm not gonna set them yet. It's, I'm not gonna set them until I've decided where to put them and walk to the location and set it. Um, if you wanna set it first, carry it this way. That way you won't break it in. Let's have a look at these glue traps. There are two in this package. The, the traps are the, look what I did. See, I'm not gonna take that out just to show you. Be careful when you take them out of the box. Damn it. Look. Oh, it actually doesn't leave a sticky. So be careful when you take them out of the box. See, I'm not proud. I'll, I'll show you my bloopers. That's what it looks like. The, oh God, I just saw one. Oh my God. God damn it, I wish I had that camera. Fucking eight. He's in the, he's in the garage. We did that right when I had the. Okay, let's see if I can do this while I hold the. Okay, oh, shit. Yeah, see how much I love you? I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. Got the back of the. And there he is. Oh, I think he's dead. Thank goodness I didn't want to have to kill him. Dude, y'all, that was insane. That's one bold little mouse. One bold. That is unfucking believable. Look at that. How insane is that? Right on camera. A little fucker just went in the trap. So I'm going to say I recommend this brand of trap. What is that? Victor. 
Look at that, y'all. Y'all, I'm so upset with myself I could spit. I thought I had on video when I had the camera up, I was gonna show you where I put the trap. And right when I said that, that fucking mouse just walked right into the trap and I had it on, I thought I had it on film, but I, I must selected photo instead of video and I missed the whole thing. But and the poor little guy isn't dead yet. So he didn't go right in. You see where he is kind of on the side. So here's the poor little guy, he's still alive. Well, maybe it's best to happen to show y'all. What to do? You have to be careful, because he's alive and he's got teeth. And uh, the teeth itself wouldn't hurt you, but these little critters carry diseases. So that's the risk and got it. Y'all, I really hate this. I mean, look how cute he is. Oh, God. I don't like this. I can keep him with So, okay, suck it up. The young list. So, I've got work gloves on with leather palms. And I've got a rag. So, I'm gonna do it and then I'm just gonna cut out the part with the hammer because y'all don't wanna see this. You know, I'm crying because I don't wanna do this. So, I've got the mouse. Now, I'm gonna kind of make sure I've got a good grip on him. Look at those big eyes. Okay, little guy. I'm sorry. Oh God. Y'all. I have to in. Hello. You're a cute little guy. Yes, you are. A cute little guy. Should I just let you go? I don't think I can kill you. I got my hammer ready. I don't think I'm gonna use it. No, no, no. I'm gonna let you go, but not right here. Not right here. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over there. God, I'm such a pussy. I should kill him. I'm just gonna walk away. Are we still on? Uh, don't be like me. Kill the mouse. I think I just send it back in my van, but God, you saw him. How cute was he? Oh, no. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back inside and reset the trap and put it back and refilm where I was putting them. I still can't believe I missed that. He he walked right into the trap, right in front of me, and I missed it. Just couldn't do it. Okay, I reset the trap <coughs> that I caught that mouse in. I'll show you where I had it. This is um 
there's a panel that's that comes off right there which is I think the mice are hanging out in the garage during the day I'm guessing since I don't see them and I'm guessing they're nocturnal based on the size of that guy's eyes um, so that's where I put that one which was definitely a good place to put it because less than a minute later caught a mouse the drag is over my bed. I had to move some stuff out of the way to put it there. But that's where that little guy was looking at me last night. So this is my bed. So there I was. Sat up last night. The little guy was looking at me from right there where that trap is. Can't see the whole trap, but there's the, you see that red? That's the... I got the third one up in the cab behind the passenger seat. Because I know they've been up here because I've seen them in here. Remember when you're putting traps out, you want to be careful if you've got pets or children. You've got to put it in a place where they can't get. Back to my kill zone. Now we're going to put out those glue traps. And I'm going to keep, that's my peanut butter oatmeal mixture. I'll put that in the container in case I need to reset the traps again. I'm going to put one of the glue traps. Actually, I might put both in there. I want to put them in a place where I won't run into them. So I'll probably put both of them in the garage. So again, when you put the glue traps down, remember you're going to end up with a live mouse. You're going to need a hammer. Well, that was pretty crazy, huh? I've got uh, all the traps back out, but one trap back out. The other two set and out. And I've got the glue traps out. And I stopped sweating after that, so I've got to put my sweater back on. I mean, it's kind of chilly here. It was, it was 28 when I woke up this morning and there was frost on the ground. So I washed my hands really, really good. And you're gonna wanna do that whenever you handle a mouse or even just a trap. So I think that's enough for this adventure for now. I think I'm gonna skip the poison because clearly the traps are very effective for me. Um, if I still have a problem, I will put out those uh, bait traps with the poison in them. So this is my adventure with keeping the mice out of my van. I'm glad you could join me, wish me luck. If I catch another one, I will let you know. So I love y'all, my tribe, and I'll see you next time.